Good evening. I've just visited the General Hospital to meet the hard-working teams in our urgent treatment centre and in Bronze Command, and they're responsible for the coordination of the island's frontline healthcare response for coronavirus. And I've been hugely impressed to hear how our island's private and public healthcare staff are working so closely together in a new way to support one another and develop the best working practices to combat coronavirus. It's been a privilege to meet just some of the hundreds of staff working across health and community services in so many essential roles. And the work they're doing is critical to our COVID-19 response and their dedication, professionalism and selflessness is an example to us all. And I hope you will be joining me alongside friends and families across the island in showing our appreciation for them and all of our critical workers by clapping outside your home at 8pm tonight. I do want to update you on our daily test results and the current capacity within the General Hospital. We've now tested 2,344 samples for COVID-19 and received 2,037 negative results and 276 positive results. Of those with positive results, 42% are male and 58% are female. The average age of those who've tested positive is 54. The results of 31 tests are currently pending. 161 islanders have now fully recovered from coronavirus, having originally tested positive. And of those who've recovered, 41% are male and 59% are female, and their average age is 48. Sadly, a total of 19 islanders have now passed away, having tested positive or been suspected of having COVID-19. 61 islanders are currently being treated in the General Hospital for a range of medical conditions and of those, the number of coronavirus patients remains at 14. There are 136 beds currently available in the hospital, giving us an occupancy rate of 31%. Tomorrow, I'll be chairing the Emergencies Council, following which I'll be giving a press conference to answer questions from the media on our testing results and the ongoing steps we're taking to protect islanders. That will take place at 3.30pm and I hope that you are able to tune in via social media or BBC Radio Jersey. We will also share the video of that press conference with all the media so they can include it in their broadcast and reporting and please also look on YouTube if you wish to under Government of Jersey. Please continue to follow the latest healthcare advice to stay at home and stay safe. And thank you for listening.